Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is the first day of October, yay, of the Lico Daily Challenge. Uh, let me know what you think about this poem. Uh, usually I start of this live, and then I will go over the, as much as I can, what my thought process is, how, how I approach it, and how I attack it. It's not like the usual explanation video, so let me know what you think. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and I'm going to do this for the rest of October, so hit the subscribe button, yay. Okay, let's look at today's poem, number of recent calls. You have a recent counter, class, which counts the number of recent requests within time frame. Uh, you have two calls, recent counter, which just is a thingy. It's an initializer, constructor. And ping, add to ping at T, and then just look at the last 30,000 or 3,000 millisecond. Okay. So this seems pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. So there are a couple of ways to do this. Uh, the way that I would think about it is just using, um, you know, the way that I think about these kind of problems is just do the stupidest thing that's easy or the simplest thing that's possible. Uh, 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 use, um, I'll, I'll just use a queue or, you know, and in Python, there's no queue, so we use a deck. So that's what we're going to do. And then basically, you know, with a queue or a deck, you have two, um, you have the beginning and the end, right? Well, so what are we going to do? Well, on a ping, we always just insert the T, and then we just keep on popping from the beginning uh, while that um, while, while the, the front of the queue is greater than 3,000 minus the back of the queue or something like that. Might have to double check on the, on the bounce, but, you know, but that should be okay. So we have to double check that, you know, off by one and stuff like that. It seems like it's inclusive. Okay. But other than that, it should be straightforward. Uh, I'm going to implement it now. Let me know what you think. Uh, okay. So initialize you just solve that queue is equal to collections dot deck, as we talked about. And then on ping, we always append T. And then while, I guess, I mean, on, on on precondition is that this should always have at least one element by definition, right? Because this cannot be true if there's no element. So, uh, so we look at the top element, and if that minus, uh, uh hmm, if t minus three thousand is greater than um, this number, then we just we pop left. And then at the end, we just return the size of the queue. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, of course, we should test. This is the only test. Okay, fine. Uh, you should have put more, but I think this actually includes that edge case where it is uh, off by one. So I'm going to submit, and then let's see how it goes. Cool. Uh, so yeah, a pretty straightforward problem. A good way to start off the, the month. Uh, so what is the complexity of this right well for each element that we hit for each ping we can at most append once and we also pop left at most once right and because of that and each of these operations are all of one we can say this is all of one per ping operation advertised and also linear in the number of pings uh, overall in terms of space it can be in theory all of n because q can get really backed up but you know, it's going to be just the size of the uh, largest depth, if you want to call it that, a number of pings colored together. Um, yeah, uh, that's all I have for this problem. I don't know if there's anything interesting to go about it. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you find about this problem. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and I am going to do this for the rest of the month. So, you know, follow me along. Huh? Anyway, I will see y'all tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye.